Indications have emerged that the zoning arrangement earlier adopted by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, ahead of the 2023 general elections may be jettisoned. The party had previously hinted that its national chairman would emerge from the southwest with the names of Ayo Fayosheo, Olagun Soye, Oyinola, Body George and Ayita Jegede emerging as aspirants. Now, joining us to discuss this is Deputy Spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party, Diron Odeyemi. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm happy to be with you this evening. So give us a picture of what's happening in the PDP and what, if there has been a change of heart, what exactly uh, must have caused that to happen? Well, I read the report in the morning and it was funny to me because uh, there is not this change that is happening in PDP other than the fact that the committee set up are due to meet today and they will be deliberating on the zoning arrangement and we hope that because of the caliber of the people that form the committee, they will come up with a very good zoning arrangement, which the party will adopt at the end of the day. So we are not jettisoning any, anything. I read the report in the Vanda, and it, it was funny to me. Hmm. Now, we all know that it's not a secret. Um, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar is still interested in eyeing the you know, the party's ticket for the presidency. And same for um, the governor of Sakoto State, if I'm not mistaken. Aminu Tambuwa also seems to be interested in that ticket. Um, so we're wondering if we have two people from the same zone um, so far that we've known uh, eyeing that ticket, is there a possibility that it might go to that zone? And that means that you're still sticking to... Um, getting a party chairman from the southwest, or do you have a possibility of zoning? Let's not also forget that southern governors have come out to say that they want the ticket for the presidency across political parties to be zoned to the south because they believe that it should be the south's turn. Um, is the PDP going to be uh -huh. dancing to that music, or do you have other ideas? I think the press has just uh, tried to do a calculation here and there. And you can't blame them for doing their job. And as it is, all that I know is that in PDP today, events and activities are going on very well. We cannot say anything because all these questions that we are asking are hypothesis. You have questioned about if this happens or this is likely to happen. But I can tell you that in PDP, we are obedient and we are orderly. And that is why there are committees in places. There is a committee that we arrange the zoning arrangement. There is a committee to conduct the convention of the Congress. And there is another committee for the conciliation. I would rather advise that we wait for these committees to, be, to submit their reports and to be adopted and accepted by the national executive council next which is the highest body of the party so not until all these things are done all these is all these hypotheses are the congestion of journalists and it's welcome it's allowed but we as a member we are not bound to preempt what this committee will come away well we're not necessarily trying to preempt but then we're of course there are speculations everywhere the Egnugu state governor is the one that is in charge of the zoning committee and he hosted that meeting with southern governors and then after that meeting, Southern governors are pushing for zoning to the south. So this is the man who chairs the committee. And the people who, who came to that meeting have ob obviously taken a stand of sorts. And again, we do not know exactly what the party is going to come up with. But then, yes, the party has to favor the people. There are several people who are asking and when I say people, I'm talking about Nigerians who are advocating for power to be given to the South, even though uh, the Northern Elders Forum has come out to also say that they will not be intimidated. Maybe they've also been reading the body language of both political parties, and maybe that these political parties are tilting towards the South. Um, what, how does the PDP hope to deal with all of this? Because every zone is agitating for something. And you know that the Yoruba nation is agitating the southeast is agitating, even the Middle Belt is agitating, and now the Northern Elders Forum are also talking tough, and they're saying they have the numbers. 
Will the PDP be swinging in that direction, knowing that they want to win? And would you not be doing anything in your power to make sure that you win come 2023? There is nothing wrong in agitation. That is the essence of politics. There is nothing wrong in asking, give my zone the opportunity to do this. And I want to tell you that if you are relying on the outcome of the meeting of the Southern governors that they are agitating that the presidency should be sold to the South, I want to tell you that all these governors from the South may be unanimous in their decision, but I, they, they don't have the power. They don't even have to say that because they belong to different political parties. What operates in APC is not bound to operate in PDP. But if there be a, if there be a, if there be a, but, but if there is some unanimous agreement across party lines, should that not be something that we should pay attention to? The governors don't have that right. That's exactly what I'm saying. That is different. What do you mean they don't have the rights? They're members of the political they party. They, they can also. Mr. Duran, you just said now, Mr. Deemi, yes. you just said now that there's nothing wrong with asking or there's agitating. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And then you, in the same breath, say they don't have a right. But they do have a right no, to no, an I, extent to I'm agitate or call for what they think would be right for their region, whether it be in their party or outside their party. Right? The difference in what we are saying is that they can agitate, but they cannot dictate to the political party. All, if all uh, Southern governors and the, uh, all Southern, all uh, PDP Southern governors, who partner with APC to come out with that decision. They know that when it gets to the PDP, that decision alone is not binding on the party. And that is why the power of where zoning lies or which zone gets to what is with the zoning committee right now. And it will be subjected to ratification by the National Executive Council of the party. So it's not the, the, the agitation of the governors even though they partner their, uh, their counterparts from other political parties, it's not going to hold sway, it's not going to be binding on the party. But there's nothing wrong there. They have the right, they can say anything, but the party will still have its way. Interesting. Will the numbers also play a role in the decision that you make? I refer you back again to the Northern Elders Forum, saying that the North has the numbers and they will make sure that they're no longer exploited uh, or used. It is part of the point to agitate. It's part of their reason to say yes. It doesn't really sound like an this. agitation. It sounds like a plan because he said that they are working on themselves and they, already know, they know, you know the status quo and now they want to change it and they want to make sure that they're no longer shortchanged. That's how it sounded. It didn't really sound like an agitation of sorts. It sounded like they were definite. It is a campaign. It, the last time I checked, the Northern Ireland's forum is not it. a political they, they, party. They are, they are giving reasons why they should get it. But what I'm saying is, when you look at the composition of the zoning committee, it comprises of all interest groups in PDP. The BOT, the governor, the former governor, the senator, the past and the present. It consists of all the interest groups. And that is why it will be very difficult for this zoning committee to, you know, to, to swing their support to any side. Because all interest groups are put together to come out with a zoning formula that we, be, that we assure that PDP wins election in 2023. So let us wait for the submit their report. That's the interesting thing, the interesting thing about it. Okay. Let's talk about the internal issues. I mean, every political party does have internal issues as we speak. Um, but the, the, the big elephant in the room is the um, rumors that the former president, uh, Goodluck Jonathan, might be moving um, to the APC, even though uh, he has not come out to say that he's moving to the APC. And then let's also not forget that in the past couple of weeks, if not months, we've seen a mass movement from the PDP to the APC, and it's continuing. We've seen FFK, uh, we've also seen uh, the Rivers man who moved, we've also seen uh, the, um, the Southeast um, minister who also moved. We've seen people move from your party and they're going in their droves. Um, will this also affect the, 
the resolutions that the party is going to have going forward. I mean, the last time you and I had a conversation, you said that the party uh, is trying to make sure that um, democracy, internal democracy works in the party so that people do not cross carpet. And I asked you, but if there are people from the APC moving to your party, would you not open your doors to them? And you said yes. So how do you want to intend to stop these crisscrossings if you do not have a, a well spelt out ideological stand of sorts that, that holds people down? What you are asking me is a general problem that affects our democracy. And just like I said, personally, it's not something that gives me joy. When you see people sleeping at APC today and waking up to say they are members of PDP tomorrow, personally, it's not something that I applaud. And having said that, I also mentioned the fact that until we have that electoral law that forbids any, anybody holding the position under a political party, crossing and taking that position to another party, not until we have that electoral law, not, uh, uh, not until we have that, people will not stop causing from one political party to the other. And good enough, there is a good development now. There is a new political uh, formation that is, you know, around the corner, which you just discussed. If this happens, perhaps it will enhance our democracy. And also, make the whole thing... How will it enhance the political democracy within the parties? The more the merrier. The more the merrier. If you say PDP and APC are six and twelve, that is, that there's no difference between the two. If a political party is coming up, it's a good, it's a good development for our democracy. But well, we have so many political parties in Nigeria. Nigeria. We have so many Nigeria other political too. parties in Nigeria. We have the APCA. We have the SDP. We have so many political parties. Why do we need an extra one? No, the extra one is going to be under one of the registered one. I want to believe. That is my idea. But if they are going to register it afresh, well, it's all, it's all well and good. But what I'm saying is, we want a vibrant political party that we come in and perhaps stop all this uh, political uh, crossover everywhere. This, this, this it, it cracks me up a little bit because I'm trying to understand why you're saying we want. Why can't the PDP be that example? You seem to be the oldest. Uh, um, um, amongst these parties, the PDP has been there before the APC was formed as a coalition of different political parties. Why are you waiting for someone else to effect a change that you could have effected and set an example of sorts or set the tone if you really are people who are asking for true democracy within the part political parties? Why don't you start within your party to set the ball rolling? In all political setup, you have people, uh, you know, uh, looking for an opportunity to aspire to, to get to a, to a position. And if they don't find such opportunity in PDP or APC, they have every right as a Nigerian, and just like area, like under registered other political parties, to aspire elsewhere. That does not include the fact that the only way to achieve your political desire is through PDP, which has the best internal democracy that anybody can think of. There is no big, big manism and there is no body, no individual that is in control of PDP. That is the difference. So it's a choice okay. for Nigerians. If you say, yes, you are forming a political party, it's good enough. The more the merrier. Okay. There is no joy in a victory where you don't have many people to say you have defeated. So we are not afraid as a political party. And that is not to say that we are not recruiting or we are not asking people to come and join us. Okay. That is not it. But that is not to say that they, they are not welcome. We welcome them. Oh, what? Uh, thank you. Durand Deyemi is uh, the uh, deputy spokesperson for the People's Democratic Party. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Well, we'll take a short break now to see what Nigerians have to say about the impact of a new party or a new movement on the political process. Stay with us. They should start from the basics. They should go for the grassroots positions like chairmanship in local government. If you want to mount an impact for presidential or governorship, <laughs> they, are, they are a long way to go. I think a new political party in Nigeria will have to take a, a new dimension and a 
bringing old things back to new things. So I think if you had a new political party in Nigeria precisely, the situation will automatically change. I think they will have to think on the, anything that can uh, uh, take impact on the youth's affairs. Just come and bring a change to the table. We are sick and tired of all this APC, PDP and the rest. If, if another party can come out, we, I'm glad and we'll be happy to have them. But, uh, but to me, or my own opinion, they are welcome. But it's all, they are still a bit of the same, the same feather. So, but they are welcome. Well, if, any, if we are going to have any new political party, any real effects they can have would have to be at the grassroots level. At the level of state governments, especially federal governments, no chance. Absolutely no chance. It's either APC or PDP. I want to thank you all for watching. It's been Plus Politics. I am Mary Anna Cohn. Do have a good evening.